Hey everyone and welcome back to Jim's EV Adventures. Winter ugh, is just around the corner and if you drive an electric car, you might be wondering how to get the best out of your EV during the colder winter months. Today, I'm going to share some tips and best practices to make sure you're fully prepared for winter driving and more importantly, winter charging. Here we go. Okay guys, the first thing let's talk about the elephant in the room. Cold weather and EV batteries. All batteries, including the one in your electric vehicle, are less efficient in cold temperatures. You may notice a reduction in range during the winter and that's completely normal. Batteries have to work harder to maintain their optimal operating temperature and heating the cabin also adds an extra load. But don't worry, there are ways to minimize this impact and ensure your EV stays reliable throughout winter. And also understand the same thing happens to gasoline cars. Their gas mileage decreases in winter. So it's normal for all cars to experience reduced mileage during the winter months. One of the most important things you can do is precondition or warm up your EV. Most electric cars have a feature that allows you to heat up the cabin and warm the battery before you hit the road. By doing this while your car is still plugged in, you can reduce the need for energy to heat the car during your drive. This means more range for you. Make it a part of your routine. Set your car to warm up while it's charging in the morning. It's like having your own heated garage, even if your car is parked outside. Another tip that you can use is to simply use your seat and steering wheel heaters if your car is equipped with them instead of blasting the cabin heat. Seat and steering heaters consume far less energy than an HVA system. This small adjustment can make a noticeable difference in your overall range during the winter months. If you're taking a road trip during the winter, Winter driving means that you're going to need to plan ahead a little bit more. While DC fast chargers are great for quick stops, keep in mind that charging times can be longer in cold weather. The battery takes longer to warm up and reach optimal charging speeds. If you're planning a long road trip, make sure to map out the charging stops and allow a bit more time for each stop in case charging takes longer than usual. The 20 to 80 percent rule also applies during the winter months. Try to keep your battery charged between 20 and 80 percent. While it's always good to avoid running your EV down to zero percent, this is especially true in cold weather. Batteries don't perform as well at low charge in freezing temperatures and staying within that 20 to 80 percent range can help keep your battery in a healthier state. Those people who were stranded at the chargers in the great northern Ar Arctic outbreak last year did not have their cars charged to at least 20%. They showed up at the chargers with 5 to 10% of charge and ran out of charge while waiting to charge themselves. And that is a disaster. For those of you charging at home, and that's most EV owners, it's a good idea to park your car in a garage or use a car cover to shield it from extreme cold. If you leave your EV out in the elements overnight, charging times will be slower and your battery will drain faster. Also consider investing in a level two charger if you haven't already. This will help you top up your battery more quickly and ensure your car is ready for morning use. In extreme cold conditions, avoid leaving your car with a fully depleted battery or avoid letting it sit at 100% for long periods. Both extremes can degrade your battery faster over time. If your EV has an option for scheduled charging, set it to finish charging just before you leave in the morning so your battery is warm and ready to go. Finally, expect your range to drop by 20 to 25% in colder months. It's a very good idea to avoid aggressive driving and fast acceleration which will drain the battery faster. If your car has an eco mode or an energy saving setting of any kind to help conserve energy, use that and that will maximize your range. Winter doesn't have to slow you down or make EV ownership a challenge. By preconditioning your EV or warming it up, planning your trips and using energy efficient heating options, you can enjoy smooth driving even in the coldest of winter months. 
If you have any winter driving tips of your own, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay warm out there. See you soon. I would like to thank you very much for stopping by today. Please do remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like. And ring the notification bell so you'll know when we've uploaded something new. Remember, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Again, thank you very much for stopping by today. We look forward to seeing you again in the very near future or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. See you all real soon.